What's going on, y'all? This is Mike, the philosopher here, and I am doing a review on Kevin Samuels, boss Buddha chick. All right. And in this episode, I'm going to be doing a ranking on her in both in, in three ways, face, body, and mentality. Okay. Now for each category, she will be given a one to 10 number for a total of 30 points being the highest. Okay. I'm not saying she's going to get 30. I'm saying that is the scale range. You get 10 points for each category, face, body, and mentality. Okay. Uh, for a total of 30 possible points. All right. So, Let's go ahead in and check the video and see what's up with Boss Buddha. Hey, Buddha bless. But Hi. Buddha bless. Ba, mm -hmm. na, 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 na. So did you, have you ascended yet? Yes, it's Nam Myo Renge Kyo. It's Nam Myo Renge Kyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never hear who? Nam Myo Renge Kyo. You call me a nappy head hoe? What you say? You there's some black people over here. You can't call nobody in that here. <laughs> now, you know, Kevin is having a little fun with her name a little bit. I, I, I It sounds Indian. So I, I think she's Indian, uh, East Indian, obviously, right? Um, and, you know, she don't seem to be pressed or anything like that. She don't seem to have a bad attitude. So that'll, that'll count good for her her mental ranking i would say so you know she got her hand over her mouth and stuff like that so she's not tripping too hard you know some people will get offended if you mispronounce their name or whatever but she she don't seem that uh heavy spirited she seemed pretty light spirited so let's go back in oh, I got over here. She, she said nappy head home oh man so what do you want to tell us Blue? okay well Wait. i i think what you are doing correct me if I'm wrong, is trying to get women to be more respectful to men? No. Okay. Now, let me say this. I don't blame her at all for having that, uh, for having that idea or for saying that or thinking that that's what Kevin's goal is. Um, you know, I'm going to let him explain exactly what his his goal is in all of this. But, you know, it's not just about that. It's about a whole lot of other, other stuff. And, you know, her along with a lot of other women would um, benefit from just understanding fair market in a fair market dating place. And a lot of times, you know, it seems as though the women are overpricing themselves in this market. And a lot of the men are walking out of the market, not buying anything because everything is overpriced and at high risk for them. So they're saying, you know, that this this store is overpriced. I don't want to have to pay for anything and I don't get no I don't get no receipts or I don't I, I can't return anything and if I do return something uh you know they're still gonna take a lot of my wealth out of this situation so uh I, I'm not buying in this market and you know a lot of it, it seems as though that's where we're going in the western culture as far as dating and you know, I know women have their their perspective on it as well, but, uh, you know, that's not what Kevin's goal is. I'll let him explain it here. Let's go in. What I'm trying to do is help women understand what the kind of men they want, want from a woman. Can you help me? What kind of man do you want? I want a nice, uh, responsible man. Um, I want a family man, a businessman, a man who likes to read. 
Now, let's stop it here. A nice, responsible man, a family man, a businessman, and a man who likes to read. You could pick up a rock and throw it and find that kind of guy. So I'm hoping that she's going to get more specific here in a minute. And, you know, these things need to be thought about more when you're talking about starting a family. Let's go back in. Pray. A man who likes to read and do what? Pray. You want a family man, a nice man, a responsible man, a man who likes to pray, a businessman, a man who likes to read? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How old? Um, under 40. That's a big, that's a big age range. Oh, above 25, 28. How old are you? 28. You want children? I want them. How many? Um, three to five. What state do you? Three to five children. Um, all right. That's a lot of money. And, uh, apparently she wants a guy who prays. Uh, yeah, just religious, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. A uh, guy who's under forty, though. This is when this is when men hit their stride in their forties. Uh, so she's looking for an exceptional guy who who has the means to take care of three to five children uh, out the gate. So. And, you know, he has to pray. He has to be a family guy. He has to read. Um, So let's go back in. You live in? New York. City? New York. New York. All right. Now, she lives in New York, New York. And she wants three to five kids. I have a feeling this is going to be expensive. Really expensive. Let's go back in. State of New York City. New York City in New York. Okay. Do you want to be a stay-at-home wife? Yes, but I like to work. Mm-hmm. Did you go to college? Yes. Did you finish college? Finish is like PhD or finish. Finish is like bachelor's, graduate. I have a bachelor's. In what? Education. Okay, so you're broke. All right. Um, yes. Yeah. Mm, broke. Now. She has a bachelor's in education. As we all know, education is not really considered a prestigious degree to have. And it's showing because we're starting to have a teacher shortage, okay, all throughout the country. A lot of people not going in for education because it doesn't seem to pay, so to speak. It's not, it's not, it, it doesn't have any social status to it much and it doesn't have much financial status to it so and like kevin said i mean as soon as he heard that she was an educator or went into education you know he assumed that she was broke and she confirmed it she said yeah i'm broke so and you know she said she'd like to stay at home but she'd like to work well she may have to work depending now if she don't want to work that means off the bat in new york city she's going to need a millionaire off the bat i'm not i don't know why she didn't just come out and say that instead of the nice guy family likes to read and and all this other fluffy stuff but let's keep it hot you want a millionaire all right let's go back in yeah, you're broke. And how many? How much money would a man need to make in New York City to raise a family of five, have a wife and him, so seven people? Well, I don't have to stay here. But okay, but you're gonna have to meet him here, so we start. Okay, a lot. I don't even know. That's the problem. See, when I asked you what you want a man, you said all these things, but then it gets right down to it, and you ladies really want a lifestyle that comes attached to money. Exactly. And that's what I was saying. You want a lifestyle to come attached to money. You can say all that fluffy stuff all you want. Uh, 
family man he prays he's he's a nice guy he reads a lot you know he he all that's fluffy stuff but when you now she says she don't have to live there okay that's good that's a plus because uh she could probably pull this off probably in another city and state but you know at the same time assuming that she doesn't leave the city or state that she's in uh, that's going to be super expensive, especially if she's not going to be working. I mean, after all, if you have five kids, you ain't going to have much of a career anyway. You're going to pretty much have to be at home. Let's go back in. How much does it cost to have five kids when the average child in this country is about $300,000 per kid, middle class? Do you want your kids to go to college? Of course, but I don't know much. Hold about on, hold on, hold on. Do you want to be able to travel uh, domestically and internationally with your family? Yes. Okay, so you're talking about kids that are five hundred thousand mm. dollars. You want two point five million dollars worth of kids plus you and him. How? So that that college and that vacation and those trips and all of that add on another two hundred k because that's super expensive and that's in, that's assuming that the child is healthy. All right. Now, if you have a child that's not healthy, uh, it could run up. OK, I have a daughter. She was premature. She cost two million dollars before she got out of the hospital as an infant. OK. Kids are expensive. She was my million dollar baby before she hit one years old. So um, you have to be aware of those expenses and that's you know that's that's just one kid but if you're talking about just healthy kids you're talking about at least like he said a half a million dollars let's go back in how much would your husband need to make since you're going to be a stay-at-home wife um like you said millions Right, so that's much more than a nice man, a businessman, a family man, a man who prays, a man who likes to read. You want a rich man. Because he has to be rich and then all those other things, ma'am. I, I listen very well and I, I, I'm too good at what I do. Don't play. You want a rich man. How tall are you? 5'11". Dress size. 10. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 190. Okay. So let's let's go in. She gave us some metrics. She's five ten, or did she say five? I think she said, yeah, she's five ten, five eleven. She said five eleven. Uh, dress size was ten. That's why I got it mixed up. Dress size was ten, and her weight is one ninety. All right. Now five eleven. You know, I'm six feet tall. So we pretty much going to be eye to eye. I don't have a problem with tall women. I, I dated women who were 5'11", 6 feet. Um, so it's okay with me. But for some men, I don't know. It seemed like uh, some shorter men actually love tall women. You know, <laughs> so, so it depends on the type of guy you are. Some guys like short and petite women. So... Uh, with me, height doesn't really matter. Only time height uh, becomes a factor to me is if a woman is, you know, six two and up, which rarely happens with me. So, uh, you know, if she start getting taller than me, then I'm gonna start feeling the way. But um, for the most part, I don't have those problems with with women uh, being, you know, six two or anything like that. So. So that being said, let's go by the me metrics that she gave us. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give her a ranking on her face, her body and her mentality. Now, uh, she doesn't look like that, that much of a bad one. She, she looks pretty good. She's cute. Uh, I think, uh, I'm going to let Kevin go ahead, rank her, but I'm going to give you my ranking after this is over and at the end of the video. So let's go back in. Um, on a scale from one to 10, 
Fresh face out of the shower, your natural face. Where'd you rank yours? Just your face. You can't use seven. Um, eight. Beyonce's an eight. I know. Now, this part is kind of, <laughs> it's funny to me. It seemed like women just, uh, they need to do a study. They need to do a study on uh, Western women and their self-image. It, it, I don't know, it, it's a phenomenon because oftentimes women seem to overprice themselves or think very highly of themselves. They're in a patriarchal society, let them tell it. However, they feel that they are way more valuable than the, than a lot of the men. And they price themselves higher than what they actually are. And it's not just her. It's 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 a lot of women. It's a lot of women. I don't know if that's the number that they tell themselves to sell themselves on that to the point where they finally buy the, I don't want to say the lie, but but they buy it and they say, you know what, I am just as good as Beyonce. I am just as good as Kelly Rowland or Rihanna. I'm just as good as those women. You know, you can't tell me anything. I wonder if they, it's a phenomenon. And, and I'm wondering how, why it's getting to that point. How it's getting to that point. Why do you think that you're just as good as them, even in looks? Like, she looks nothing like a Beyonce. I'm just, I'm just keeping it hot. I'm just keeping it real. You, 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 you're not there. But Beyonce is an eight. I know. I, I find that fascinating. Um, put it in the comments. What what you think the reason is that? Uh, what you think the reason for that is? Because it just seems though it's it's becoming a phenomenon, especially in the West, and now it's starting to reach all corners of the globe. But women just don't seem to have a a fair grasp on where they are, and. For that reason, they tend to overprice themselves. So it's 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 fascinating. But let's go back in. So you up there with Beyonce? Yeah, I didn't get out the shower just now. Okay, I'm take off your glasses. Mm, you're cute. I give you a six. You're not okay. up there with Beyonce. I don't have Beyonce's money either. Now, I guess what she's saying, I don't have Beyonce's money either, is like, like Beyonce paid for her beauty or something like that, which is ridiculous. Beyonce was fine before money, before fame. She was, she was always cute, and at her, at her age and younger than her. She looked better. She just did. When Beyonce was her age, which is 28. Now, some might argue, well, she had money when she was 28. Yeah, she did. But Beyonce been fine a long time. And she's been better looking than her. Now, I don't know what she looked at. Look, looked when she was young maybe she was a little smaller didn't have as much weight to her and things like that but she just never was on the Beyonce level I, I don't I firmly believe that but Beyonce's money has nothing to do with it working out is practically free you can go for a walk you can work out you can do sit ups wherever you at you know what I mean uh, 190 is a little a little much I would say she needs to be in the 150 160 range especially being 511 
she need to be in a 150 to 160 range i you know anything past 160 you starting to um show it a little bit you know but you know 511 i would give her even grace with 160 but if she was shorter than that obviously the number starts to go down the shorter you are but um beyonce's money has nothing to do with it beyonce been fine all right but let's go back in well beyonce didn't have beyonce's money until she earned it but you're not an eight you're i mean beyonce's an eight sweetie's an adjustable six you're a six you're cute it's not a bad thing you're cute but it all comes down to an equation at what point in life did a six foot tall 200 pound cute woman ever get rich me but i'm not 200 pounds 190 is 200 pounds and i'm not 60 hey 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 you're disagreeable buddha the energies are wrong i'm just asking because you asked me you said can i help you and i'm trying to help you and the first thing is reality wherever you think you rank is where you rank do you have millionaires, rich men trying to marry you right now? I don't talk to enough people to know. That's an answer, no. Okay. Now, Buddha don't take me as that disagreeable. I think Kevin was a little turned up on this on this uh, episode or this interview, uh, but she she tried to correct him. Let me let me just say this. Women don't like when you add pounds to, to their number. They don't like to tell you how much they weigh in the first place. And then when you add 10 pounds to it to round up, they're going to correct you. Okay. I'm not, I'm not there. I already gave you a number I didn't want to give you and you already rounding up on me. So, um, I, I can kind of understand Buddha's side on that. Um, and six feet uh i can kind of understand kevin on that i can understand him rounding to six feet look 511 ain't nothing but an inch lower than six feet i mean you know look to a six foot guy you still gonna pretty much be eye to eye so uh you know let's not play it too critical and that's why he rounded up the height but he probably in the future shouldn't do that with the weight because i can understand women like hey don't don't round up my weight you know so um but all that being said uh i'm going to give you a ranking of uh boss buddha here in a second and and this is going to be like i said with her face her body and her mentality so let's get it Okay, so now you've seen the video. So let's go in with the ranking. All right. Now, let me say this. She's not a bad looking woman. And she got some, you know, uh, good surface things to work with. Um, looking at her face, I would give her a face about a six. I would give it that. Okay. Um, she's cute. She's not going to, you know. Uh, you know, still your man or nothing like that, but she she is cute. She's presentable, very presentable, cute face. And she has some cute mannerisms. I mean, you know, just how she she acted a little innocent. So but all that being said, I think she was a cute woman. All right. Um, as far as her body, I couldn't really see her body. But going by the measurements, we talking about 5'11" and 190 pounds which is not too bad but i think that she could lose about 40 to 50 pounds and it would look much better it would just look much better being 511 i'm gonna give her um some leeway um at least 160 she should be at least 160 so uh what not much more than 160 um with her type of build structure and her height so for her body i will give her a 
a six also on the body scale. On her mentality, Kevin kind of said that she he thought she was a little disagreeable. I don't I don't really know about that. She didn't seem overly intense or any or, or disrespectful or anything like that. I think you could work with uh Buddha. I really do. So um I would give that about a seven, her mentality. Uh, you know, obviously she haven't thought everything through, but, you know, at the same time, I didn't take her as being too disrespectful. She took some jokes, she took some, and she took some criticism. Also, he he gave her a six and she didn't really uh, trip too much off of that. So she don't seem that disagreeable. I think, you know, like I said, Kevin, I think was turned up a little bit on that, on that ranking. But all that said, I would give her a total of 19 points, okay, um, out of 30. So there you have it for Boss Buddha. Her ranking is 19. And I think once you get past the 15 mark, you're considered more desirable by men. So... Uh, she she's up there she got some to work with but she still got some work to do to get in those 20s and then hit that 30 is it possible for her to hit 30 i think it's possible for her to get up there uh, but i'm not sure about hitting 30 uh, so that being said that's the boss buddha ranking check out the channel for more rankings from from other women out there and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.